Hi guys, this is a special video, a special video for, well, for all the Arclinux B ISOs that are coming in March. We have developed a new application and that's not on these ISOs, but I'll, I think people will ask us, hey, why is there no extra button here? Because in the Arclinux flagship and Arclinux D flagship, we have implemented it. So all the Bs, which means uh, 24 ISOs in total we have, uh, I guess it's uh, 21 then, that will not have the button here. So it applies to all the Bs that we release in March 2021. What if you want to have this extra button that you've seen in Arc Linux or Arc Linux D? That's what this video is about. And I'll just make one for all the ISOs, all the Bs, right? What I've done, I've downloaded um, Arclinux B from Belnet. So Belnet is a new dedicated server where all our ISOs are. And the fun thing is, it doesn't cost us a thing. So please guys, go download there, bandwidth and all that is free. So if you go a little bit up, so I deleted a part of the URL, we have the AAG and the AAG is always the second month before well, a week before release, let's say it like that. And that's, um, that means that everybody can test now. Everybody is beta tester. They're here. So I've downloaded Arclinux B, awesome, but it could have been any B, right? Any B will do fine. And then what should you do if you want to have, if you don't want to change the file system, if you're liking X4, don't do a thing, right? Just go ahead and install. Well, what if indeed you would, would like to try out BTRFS or XFS or etc. etc. That's what this video is about. So let's quit this thing. Control T. Think it through. What do I need to do first? I need to get the databases. We're in the live environment, not an installation, right? We want to install. We are a live user and we have booted up awesome. So we say to the system, to Pacman, really, well, first I'm going to get my key my Azerti keyboard in, right? And then <clears throat> I'm gonna say, go get me the databases. Pacman needs to go to all the various, well, links or, or servers to get the databases in. And now he knows what to get where, okay? Then we're gonna say sudo pacman minus s. The new application that has been created is called Arculinux Calamaris Tool. Arconlix Calamaris tool. Enter. So that's done. Now I need to have get some extra elements and that's the uh, KTM core for one. So that got an update as well. There was an, an issue with the DOS FS tools and they updated, the developers updated that package which resulted in a breakage in Calamaris and KTM core came to the rescue to fix everything. So everything is fixed basically, but um, everybody, Endeavor OS, Garuda, Linux, everybody had an impact from it, right? So that's that. We have Arclinux Calamaris tool and we have KPM core. I feel like I'm forgetting something. DOSFS tools was the application that triggered everything. We can update one, that one as, as well. So you'll see there's an update there. So that's that. Still have the feeling I'm forgetting something. And then we press Ctrl Alt W. There you go. I need to get the Arclinux Welcome app. That's what I forgot, right? Sudo Pacman minus S Arclinux Welcome app. Because we needed to add a button to it. So Ctrl Alt W, that's the new button. And it's good that I forgot it. Now you see really very easily the difference, right? If you scroll a little bit back in the video, we have an extra button there. And it will give us 40 possibilities. You hear me correctly, 40. So I believe in freedom, giving people choices, because that's the fun not to restrict people to use by definition PTRFS or by definition XFS. I think it should be a, sh a choice, right? So here we are. 
and providing you with a possibility to run this thing. And we have so many ideas to fill this in with other options. But we had to kickstart something and it's now on the flagship on Arknix D, but you can get it also on the B as you see if you know what to get. We can do the following things. We can read, we can watch some videos, we can have a look. What does it say? BTRFS, modern copy on write and so on. You keep on reading. A good tip where I got a lot of knowledge from and I'll certainly make a video once I'm more, well, um, certain and I know I've been some, done some testing on my machines, right? Then I'll make a video, but start by reading BTRFS, XFS, Arch, Wiki, but also SlideShare. It's an interesting way to, to go actually to university because major companies, major, um, well, let's see whose company, Oracle. This is Oracle, right? Major companies making summaries of the technology and of the um, the knowledge out there and this helped me a lot to go through a dozen of these um, like here snapper etc a dozen of these um, well, well powerpoints basically slideshare right and then you learn a lot in a short term short time right so we have one two three four five options we did not put X3 and X2 and such, uh, such things in there. Those are older, right? But these guys, you can have a look at them, which means it's one, two, three, four, five choices you have to make at this time. And you save it. And by now, if you launch Calamaris, it's gonna know you wanna have BTRFS as standard formatting, standard for your file system or any of the others. So five options, and then we start counting. This is our version. <coughs> the rest I gather you know, changing your net language and all that. It's um, the normal procedure. What to install, it's entirely up to you. First, I would uh, tell you, do not install anything, right? Just just go through the motions and see if, it ever, if everything works. Then you know you don't need any drivers. If you end up in a black screen, then you know, ha, huh, maybe I need the driver. So either you install one of these, pseudo pacman minus S, and when you know, next time around, I say, okay, on this machine, I need a Nouveau, on the other machine, I need an ATI, and so on, right? And so that can differ. And then we have uh, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of choices, right? Again, that's the fun, the choices. I'm going for my Belgian and this is again choice one, two, three, four. So we have five file systems, four possibilities is 20 and each of them can be encrypted or not. So that means there are 40 possibilities to install your system out of the box without any very uh, without any technical stuff like this guy right manual partitioning is really knowing what you're doing and um, you can do still do that right but uh, i do like the idea to provide now 40 possibilities whatever you choose right up here um, will give you more freedom so that's that that's what i wanted to show you guys the rest is just installing uh, you know how to do that but the extra bit here, if you are interested in another file system, yes, then maybe you can install all these packages and you have this new button, the possibility here to install it. Let's end again the video with a go going back to the commands. <coughs> so back in time, this is the last thing I did. Arclinks welcome app to have the extra button. FS Tools is the guy who, well, triggered everything and everything was broken for Calamaris, for the EFI systems anyway. KPM Core fixed it for us and Arcmix Calamaris Toolkit is what we created as extra. The button there that you have, that's going to be uh, expanded in the next uh, months. We have lots of ideas to add to it. So that's, that is that, guys. Um, Again, if you 
say not interested I just keep to X4 don't do any of this don't do any of this just click on calamars and go install all right enjoy